Hey, it's Shana Meyerson with Yoga Athletica in Los Angeles, California, here today to show you my tricks for getting the no slip flip grip. This video assumes that you already know how to do a flip grip. Today we'll be working with a Kapata Raja Kapatasana, which is our one legged king pigeon pose. I have a separate video on that that will show you how to actually access the flip grip if you don't have the mobility yet to get there. I also have a separate video for Nata Rajasana, King Dancer, and how to get the flip grip in that pose. Make sure you have those down because this video is the sequel to those videos and if you don't have those down yet, mm, this may not help you that much. So the problem that a lot of people have with their flip grip is that they slide off, right? They grab their foot. I'm all up close and personal today so you can get a really good look at what's going on. They grab their foot and they pull it in and they wind up with something like that, like a boomerang action. Any chance that's happened to you? <laughs> if you're here, I'm assuming that it has. So I'm gonna give you four things that you can do to make sure that you can coat your toes in Crisco and you will not lose them. Number one, when you reach back, make sure you flex your foot instead of pointing your foot. Can you see how something can slide off a pointed foot a lot more than a flexed foot, right? If I'm pulling up, my foot will be in the way. If I'm pulling up this way, nothing is in the way. So what it looks like is flex foot, Right? And can you see now how my hand being under my foot has nowhere to slide? But if I point, I'm so used to, I can slide right out. So that's number one, flex that foot. Now number two has to do with hand positioning. Most people I see like to grab their toes and it makes sense because it's like on the top of the foot, so it's got a lot of like turnability. But toes are long pointy things that slip out. Feet are not long pointy things, they're much more malleable. So when I reach back, instead of grabbing my toes, which are going to be super slippy, I flex my foot, remember? Hand, instead of grabbing my toes, goes all the way under and grabs the instep of my foot. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see that from a different angle. So when I reach back, you see that my hand is on the bottom outer edge of my foot, not on my toes, okay? Toes, slippy, foot, not slippy, okay? So you see my foot is flat to the ceiling and my hand is on the outside of my foot. Okay, so those two things are already gonna give you a big head start. Now, to get the flip grip, again, go to my other videos if you don't know how to do it because I'm not gonna be getting into the deep technicalities and mobility here. But just as a basic start, once I have flex foot, hand underneath, when I pull, I wanna pull my foot, pretty close to my body, so I have some rotation, but look at my foot position. My toes, again, are pointy and slidey, right? So now, in addition to flexing my foot, once I pull in, I'm also going to flex my toes. Can you see how my toes are sort of rounded back over my hand? So instead of pointing up, they flex backwards. Shown from another angle, flex foot, grab outside, pull it in, 
and you see my toes, you see how they're bent around. If I point them, I lose it. So what I'm doing is basically just locking my hand in place. Okay, if you got stinky feet, you could wash your hands later, but you gotta get a grip. Now, the fourth step is when we're coming into the full posture and we start to integrate our other hand, what do we do with that hand? What do you do with the drunken sailor? What do you do with the drunken sailor? Flex foot. Grab in step, flex my toes, right? So they're sort of locking my hand in place. Now, this arm, by the way, is not going to get around unless I square off my chest. So I open up. But what I do with this hand is, again, instead of grabbing the toes, which I see people do all the time, I take my thumb to the base of my toes, and that way, your toe has like a little, let's see if I could explain this. Your toe has like a little nook here. So it creates another lock if my thumb is here versus here that when I pull my toe in, it locks my thumb in place. So my four steps are flex foot, Grab outside of foot, flex toes. When I take my second hand in, I stick it right there beneath my toes so I have a good grip. Now, of course, if this is easy for you, you can grab a lot lower, but if you're sort of struggling with the pose, grabbing onto the base of the toes will ensure that that second hand has a killer grip. Hope this helps for simple steps to keep you from that flip, grip, slip. Let's get rid of it. This is Shauna Meyerson with Yoga Athletica in Los Angeles, California. Don't forget to check out my Vimeo channel, which has full length classes that will get you into anything your heart desires. I'll see you next time. Oh, and quick bonus so that you can actually see how that other thumb works. Let me turn this way. So second thumb, how it comes under the toe. So it's flex foot, grab. I keep saying outside foot. It's really the inside of the foot. Flex your toes and watch how my thumb hooks right under the toes to give me that no slip final step to my pose. Okay, now you've seen it all.